picture yourself focusing on something that hurt you in the past. You're in the present, but you're rehashing it. And what you're rehashing is cutting you and hurting you just as if it just happened a few minutes ago. Ow. Why? Listen to this short skit. It's a little dramatization of a mother rehashing the pain of the past. Listen, mama, you got to get over this stuff. You can't just keep rehashing it, regurgitating it, rehashing it, looking at it and messing with it and fiddling with it and stirring it up. You keep hurting yourself every time you go through this. Listen, that stuff hurt. It hurt then and it hurt now. It never stopped hurting me. You don't understand. It hurts. You don't know what they did to me. You don't know what he said to me. I was seven years old. I will never forget that. And then don't forget what your cousin did. Oh, he lied. Oh, you expect me to just get over this stuff. But sweet pea, you just keep on living. You'll find out how people do you wrong. And no, you never get over it. It hurts till the day you die. Mama. Oh, shut up. I don't want to hear it. You know how they say don't cry over spilt milk? Well, imagine that your spilt milk also broke a glass. And the glass is on the floor. So you're sopping up the milk, but the glass is still on the floor. So you pick up all the fragments of the glass with your bare hand. You're handling it instead of taking the broom, the Lord, sweeping it in the dustpan, his healing, and dumping it in the trash, your deliverance. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing that, you pick up the glass and you keep handling it. And you handle it so long that before you know it, it's cutting you. Your fingers, your hands are bleeding. How did your hands bleed? You broke the glass an hour ago, but you're still handling it. Why? It was a glass that you cherished. It really meant a lot to you. So it's hard for you to let it go, even though you know it's unfixable. So instead of leaving it alone and getting it in the trash, you're handling it, trying to figure out if you can do something with it, what you can do with it, rather than just get rid of the whole thing. Now you're all cut up. Now you got scars that have to heal all over again from something that you did an hour ago. And that's the way we are in life. We keep handling and massaging that pain massage in those broken pieces in our lives. And we wonder why we can't get healed because we're steadily getting cut all over again by old stuff, old broken stuff that we won't throw away because we won't let it go. Interesting. Sometimes it's really hard getting over emotional pain, bitterness, deep-seated hurts where people cut us deeply. But you know, there is a healer. I wrote a poem one time about my mother going through her hurts. And I'm just going to recite a small part of it because she was sitting there coughing and gagging and coughing and gagging as she was regurgitating all of the bitter memories. And I remember right at that moment, the words came to my mind. There she is, alone in the room, gagging and gagging, yet failing to regurgitate all the sickness and misery life has shoved down her throat. Is there anybody who knows her? Is there anybody who loves her? Well, let me stop right there and answer that question. Yes, there is. And I can tell you from experience that nobody has to live with those bitter memories if they ask God through Jesus Christ to come in their heart and heal all of the emotional pain, be it from death or be it from emotional harm. I'm telling you, every bitter memory, every pain of it, every bitter sting from it can be removed supernaturally. But you got to get that from God. That's only a job God can do. No pill, no lover, no other can handle that but God. Please. If you're tired of hurting, go to him. He'll do a thorough job if you thoroughly yield your life to him.
God bless you. And don't forget to ask.